Hi, this is Sanjay Bhatia, your mentor and guide on your journey from Certificate Program in Machine Learning for Finance with IQF. Today we are going to cover the course coverage and the course content. And this course is 8 month duration course and we have modularized it. So let's without waiting further, let's go into the specific modules one by one and you know get a taste of the content what covers each module. So it starts with the foundation stage which is the module 0. And let's see on your these slides on your screen to cover the course content which relates to module 0. The module 0 covers the machine learning preliminaries. This module is meant for someone who doesn't come with any background so that they, they, they won't be required to do any prerequisites. So it covers the preparatory ML overview primer, right? It covers the exhaustive machine learning programming primer which covers all the analytical languages like Python to cover all the libraries for which, we would, which would be required for the implementation of the specific algorithms. And then it provides you a deep understanding into the mathematics which underpins the machine learning. So you would be introduced to all the mathematical topics which would be required in the foundation stage right straight away so that you won't struggle later on. Right? So this covers the foundation module for this machine learning which will build a ground up for you to jump into the mainstream module which starts from here onwards after six weeks and the, that, that is starting from the module uh, 1 which is the problem setting and solutionizing stage. So you just look at module 0 which was the ground up and the foundation stage and now we are into the module 1 which, from where the main journey starts which is about problem setting and solutionizing. So let's look at the content of the module 1 which covers the ML paradigms and structural framework. It covers the specific techniques which are you know part of the ML catalog which are supervised learning, semi-supervised learning, unsupervised learning, deep learning, online and offline learning, reinforcement learning. So these are different types of learning within the broader paradigm of the machine learning and then we will definitely go into how you can create a data mining and data manipulation uh, you know application for you know applying these techniques different learning techniques and we will also let you be creative and critical thinker about it we will you know have a specific module which will allow you to uh, design the problem to specify the problem which is problem setting and use cases and then you will understand how the design and architecture of the solution is built so it will cover the ml solution design and architecture and also in order to do this, the, this implementation end to end you will be familiarized with ml model development life cycle which will cover different stages how you will go about implementing an algorithm from right from the start or scratch up till the end so that covers module 1 which is problem setting and solutionizing all these topics covered over four weeks which will make you understand the broader techniques and apply them and define the problem and be critical thinker about solutionizing and end-to-end -end implementation of the problem following the model development life cycle. So that's about module 1. So let's jump into the next module which is specific paradigms as covered on the previous module. So we will go and deep dive into a specific paradigm which is called the supervised learning and this supervised learning as you can see on your screen contains all these specific topics which cover all the tools and techniques and methods of supervised learning like ML driven regression, ML driven time series, ML driven classification, ML driven data visualization, ML driven data science insights and storytelling. So this covers the paradigm of supervised learning with covering all methods, techniques and tools, how to implement them in real life. And we will be delivering this through live lectures, Python labs and specific, you know, topics which where you would be doing some research on the use cases, right? So let's move on to the next module. Having covered the supervised learning module, now we will jump on to the next module which is module 3 which is about unsupervised learning techniques. So it covers all the method techniques which come up under the stable of unsupervised learning which are ML driven clustering, 
ML driven association, ML driven data visualization, ML driven data science insights and storytelling. So this covers the unsupervised learning module which is when you don't have the label data set how to solve problem using certain ML techniques. Now let's move on to the next module which is about machine learning speech and natural language processing which covers how what kind of techniques are available to do the NLP uh, you know algorithm and let's go through the slides. So this module covers the unstructured data sets and transformation, the ML driven textual and speech processing, ML driven document classification, ML driven image classification and ML driven chatbots and this module is exhaustively about text and sequential processing of unstructured data. So ML speech and natural language processing module covers all the techniques which are required for unstructured data. So let's go into the next module which is the ML evaluation and explainability and this module covers ML performance evaluation matrix, ML quantitative validation tests, ML driven model explainability, ML driven tuning and optimization, ML results showcase and storytelling. So in this module you learnt about model evaluation, model validation and model explainability. Now let's jump on to the next module where you would be getting your hands dirty and it's the next module is all about ML prototyping and implementation and that module contains ML front to back test tech stack, ML design and architecture, ML prototyping, ML deployment and ML productionization. So with this ML prototyping module you will be working with the SME implementation experts who would be taking you through ML Python labs to build the scratch up prototype and you have your own prototype built up for your financial use cases. With this module we, we conclude most part of the program in terms of the deep dive learning and almost 7 months have been covered out of 8 months and the last month is all about research and research project and project uh, implementation. So that in that phase you would be working through the capstone project, you would be assigned a capstone project and you could choose your choice of capstone project as per the specific use case which is relevant to the current role and where you want to aspire. right? And that includes quantitative finance, derivative pricing, risk modeling and management, algorithmic trading, portfolio management, financial time series focus. So the cornerstone of this course and what kind of key takeaways one should expect from this course are learning the full ML tech stack, learning the tools and technologies, learning the ML methods and techniques, learning the application use cases specific to a variety of areas and also getting the ability how to implement and how to think through certain design and critical framework for solving real life problems. So we look forward to you to explore this course as much as you want and deep dive into it. So this will make you prepare for the 21st century most demanded millennial job data science and machine learning which is disrupting every industry and specifically the FSI sector. Thank you for listening to us.